Fiat, or Fabrica Italiana Automobili Torino was founded in 1899 in Turin, Italy, by among others, Giovanni Agnelli. Their first plant opened in 1900, with a meager staff of only 35 people. They were known early for the creativity and talent of their engineering staff. The company went public on the Milan Stock Exchange in 1906. Their first car, the 3.5 CV, was based on a design purchased from the company Serrano GBNC and had a 697 cubic centimeters boxer twin engine. Fiat produced their first truck, the 24 HP, in 1903. In 1908 Fiat exported their first car to the US, and they produced their first aircraft engine. Fiat had become the largest automotive company in Italy by 1910, and that same year they built a new plant in Poughkeepsie, New York through the newly founded American Fiat Automobile Company. During World War I all of Fiat's factories were occupied with supplying equipment to the Allied war efforts. The U.S. plant was shut down in 1917 due to burdensome U.S. regulations and the American involvement in the war. Fiat introduced its first tractor, the 702, in 1919. The Lingato car factory in Turin, the largest in the world at the time, and the only one to feature a test track on its roof, opened in 1923. This was a marvel of avant-garde design, and was complemented by the likes of architect Le Corbusier. It was also the first Fiat factory to use assembly lines. Some models of the 20s include the 501, 502, 520 Super Fiat, the 520, and the 21-liter airship engine-powered land speed record monster Mephistopheles. During World War II Fiat produced military equipment for the German and Italian war efforts under Benito Mussolini, until he was overthrown in 1943. After this, the Agnelli family was removed from their roles of leadership in Fiat because of their ties to Mussolini, and did not return until 1963 with Johnny Agnelli as general manager. Interwar and post-war models of Fiat include the 508 Valilla, Fiat 1500, Fiat 500 Topolino, 1100, and the 2800. Production numbers reached a high with 1.4 million cars in 1970, when they employed 100,000 people in Italy. In 1976 the Libyan government bought a stake in the company and injected much-needed cash. This was sold again in 1986. Iconic models of the Fiat brand are the Fiat 500 and 600, the 850, 124 Spider, 128, Fiat X1-9, Fiat Dino, 126, Fiat 600 Multipla, 124 Coupe, the 4x4 Campagnola, the Ritmo, and the 2300S. Today Fiat is part of the Stellantis Consortium which consists of Abarth, Alfa Romeo, Chrysler, Citron, Dodge, DS, Fiat, Fiat Professional, Jeep, Lancia, Maserati, Mopar, Opel, Peugeot, Ram and Vauxhall. Current Fiat models include the new 500, 500 Hybrid, 500X, Panda and Tipo. A model in the pipeline is the Fiat Centaventi, meaning 120, a fully customizable electric car that was revealed as a concept in 2019 to celebrate the 120th year of the brand. The long history of Fiat tells a story of a persistent brand that has seen its ups and downs through the years. Now being a part of the mighty Stellantis consortium, they could be set for the next 120 years.